Hey everyone, welcome back to New Windsor. So today we're going to be moving outside the city and working on that amusement park by the lake I've been talking about for so long. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be based on Kenobi Lake Park in New Hampshire, and I'm really excited. Let's get straight into it. Alright, so Kenobi Lake Park, that's what we're gonna be working on today, or at least something based off of it. So, this was suggested a while ago, I forget by who, it was like 20 episodes ago, somebody suggested that I take a look at Kenobi Lake Park uh, in the middle of nowhere in New Hampshire, and I decided to. So, you know, I've been talking about how, you know, we're gonna have some New Hampshire inspiration in there soon. Finally, we got New Hampshire going, uh, and I want to use... Uh, maybe some Manchester, New Hampshire inspiration in the future, but also some uh, some other New Hampshire uh, inspiration for mills in specific. I feel like New Hampshire is going to be really awesome for that. Obviously, we're going to have to grab some inspiration from Lowell and Massachusetts as well uh, for the mills that we end up building, but New Hampshire is going to be pretty central going forward, and this is really where we start. Um, so in terms of this area here, um, this amusement park, Kenobi Lake Park in New Hampshire, is, yeah, it's in the middle of nowhere, um, it's not really near any major town, or actually, no, there are some major towns nearby, it's just not in one. Uh, it's on this, like, residential lake, actually, um, where, I guess, people just have boat slips and stuff like that, um, and there's just this massive amusement park with loads and loads of, uh, people from out of state vacationing or whatever, uh, and... Yeah, it's got a lot of parking. I was really surprised by the amount of parking it had. I go a little bit overkill with the parking I add uh, initially here, uh, so I do delete two lots, but um, what I'm doing is pretty true to form. Like, the amount of parking in, you know, Kenobi Lake Park is really huge. Uh, and yeah, so I'm gonna use the vanilla amusement park assets for this just because they're probably the most, you know, like, realistic ones I've got. I, I do use a bunch of other ones as well. There was this one pack of amusement park assets that I've been looking for, but I couldn't find them. Um, it's a pack I've been meaning to use for a while. They're, I think they were animated, but yeah, I can't really find them. But I, I manage. Uh, I use some workshop roller coasters uh, on top of the stuff from the Park Life DLC. Uh, and I manage with the, you know, the, the weird tiles and stuff the, the the blue and red tiles they look really bad paradox you know like just make something generic for us and then like let us play with it because like the tiles i mean you know I, i'd totally be fine with adding those myself to a certain amusement park but like not every amusement park's gonna you know need those etc uh so you get the idea i i managed though and i managed to get them to work i don't really cover them up like uh $2.20 has in the past. Um, instead, I just, you know, I, I embrace them. I connect plazas together that are using them, uh, and they're mostly centered around certain areas within the park. I use this, like, like mini race car track go-kart racing thing from Mass Transit. I don't even know what it is, but I placed it there because I saw some sort of racetrack in the Kenobi Lake Park, um, you know, premises and... I decided to add, you know, the closest thing I could think of to that. Uh, and we've got the, like, this big roller coaster from the Park Life DLC. I, I was actually surprised how few roller coasters there were, because there was only one. There was one roller coaster from the Park Life DLC, and you know, I wanted more. Um, and this one isn't really that 
cool for the theme that I'm going for, but I manage and it's animated, so I had to add it. Uh, I do add some other ones that are like the classic old roller coasters from the workshop, um, and you've probably seen them before in some other builds. We add them a little bit later when I'm sort of coming up short with the actual vanilla assets that I'm trying to use to just make the whole thing work. Um, you know, I, I do need some workshop assets for this, but in general, I'm surprised how well I got along with just the vanilla stuff. Um, yeah, you see here I'm placing this workshop roller coaster because I was sort of like running out of vanilla stuff to place. And yeah, this other roller, workshop roller coaster, which I placed by the parking lot. Uh, and I think it's really cool having that right by the parking lot. It reminds me of the roller coaster in Belmont Park in San Diego, actually, where you're just like, you're it adds to the hype of going to the park because, you know, you, you're, you're driving in, you try to find a parking space, and you, you see exactly what you're just about to go on, like right in front of you, this old, cool wooden roller coaster. And, uh, yeah, I, so I decided to add something like that here as well. And, yeah, just placing all these roller coasters here in general, they're... Uh, they're all different from each other, and, yeah, we've got one wooden roller coaster and then a bunch of other uh, roller coasters. I'm not, like, a theme park addict of any sort, uh, I've only been to a couple theme parks in my life, really, and I, I don't know. I, I, but building them in-game here is actually pretty cool, but I, I know I'm probably gonna annoy a bunch of, like, Planet Coaster theme park fanatics that are definitely out there, so sorry about that. Another thing I'd like to talk about is a new segment I want to do in the videos just to spruce things up, and I think it'd be really great. Uh, so uh, I, I want to do a segment where I show your work, you know, the work of people who are subscribed to the channel, um, people who you know build cities as well. Um, you're not just watching me; you also build cities yourselves, and you know I'd like to show that work in in the videos and maybe give feedback on you know what I think you could change or you know improve or anything like that uh within your city or your graphics mods or anything like that so yeah i mean i really want to do something like that uh, and i haven't really seen it you know done before uh you know in a series like this i feel like i get split up the middle of the video pretty well and um also serve a purpose of you know showing your work so if you want to participate in this um i mean I, I don't really know what we should call the segment um for now just like send me a dm on twitter uh with a screenshot of your work um uh, but in the meantime also uh comment on this video with like a hashtag you think would work for you know this segment because what could happen is i could say you know uh, post this to Twitter, you know, a screenshot of your city or something with a hashtag, you know, it would be the hashtag uh, of, you know, this segment, and then I'd be able to just go to that hashtag and uh, find those builds and, you know, put the pictures in the videos. So, I don't know, suggest hashtags in the comments of this video. For now, before, you know, we get the hashtag going, send me, um, you know, DMs on Twitter with your work, and um, I'll integrate it into a future video, hopefully, um, unless I get like way too many, you know, people. But yeah, I'll try to show as many people's work as possible. So but yeah, I feel like this would be awesome. So yeah, let's let's try to get this segment going. Right here I'm working on this picnic area by the water. I'm using the Ronix um, rock decals and then strict toasters, breakwater rocks here to make the shoreline a little interesting. I don't add them everywhere. Usually I'll just add like dirt decals or rock decals on the shoreline. And in the next couple of episodes, I think we're gonna work around this lake here and actually place houses and boat slips and stuff, and I think it's gonna be really cool. Um, it's gonna be pretty detailed, actually. This is gonna be a focal point within the city. 
a lot of the areas in between the main downtown and this area though are going to be a little bit less detailed uh, as you may have seen like we're sort of in between that massive pine orchard uh, neighborhood that we made and, and the mountains i guess yeah uh, and in the mountains i we're probably gonna do ski slopes if i somehow manage that um which won't really have snow on them maybe i mean i mean it's been suggested that i add snow caps uh to the to the hills over there um, with the idea that it's late autumn, maybe you have a little bit of a dusting or something like that. That could be cool. I don't know. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm so disorganized here, but I'm just sort of thinking out loud. Um, because we've got so much to do in this, in this map. It's insane. I do want to do a big road layout episode soon where we plan out a bunch of the boring suburbs, um, that we're gonna have to build. Uh, I also want to build like a, like a parkway, like a highway that's got two lanes in each direction that you know, where trucks are banned and it's just cars and it's rural and stuff because uh, there is stuff like that in, you know, upstate New York and stuff. So that could be cool. We've got so much to do, but for now, I'm trying to work on some nice, interesting projects that might be a little bit different than what we've been doing as of late. So I mean, I don't really add that much detail to the park itself um, in terms of, you know, purposefully placed props or anything like that. The main thing I do is I just go over through the park with the forest brush, which is, by the way, unbelievable, as I've mentioned before. Uh, and I go over it with uh, the Ronex dirt decals and uh, the wild bushes by Podelmo. And um, there are some of the main things that I use in a lot of the things I build. I also add some, you know, piles of rubble and stuff. Um, the idea is that this park is not unbelievably well maintained. Um, Kenobi Lake Park itself in New Hampshire is definitely, you know, not, doesn't fit that characterization. It's very well maintained. It's a really nice theme park. Um, this one, I mean, it's just a homely little theme park on the lake, uh, and it's, it's really cool, but you know, not, not necessarily just for the rich, um, not, not unbelievably well maintained. So, you know, I'm adding all these, uh, dirt decals and stuff everywhere. I add the amusement park fences essentially everywhere around the pads. Uh, they look pretty good. Those are the vanilla ones, the network ones from park life. And yeah, you see I'm adding like loads of rubble cracks and stuff. Once again, not too well maintained this park. Um, Hopefully the wooden coaster is safe anyway, but yeah, uh, I'm filling different gaps with concrete and stuff. Yeah, it, it's sort of repetitive, the, the detail I do. I would have liked to add, like in Kenobi Lake Park, there are some cool little like buildings. Um, like, you know, it's a theme park. Uh, so there are, you know, cool little buildings, like European styled uh, buildings, or I, I'm not sure, I can't really see them up close, but you know, just scattered throughout the park. We don't really have anything that interesting within this park like that, um, and I'm worried they'll despawn. I still don't know how to get buildings to not really care about being connected to roads and still get services and stuff, um, because, I mean, no problem that mod. I don't have that because it tends to mess with my game. I don't know, but yeah, I think that's the only way you can get rid of those. Whatever. I'm, I'm really a noob at this game, despite what you all may think, but uh, yeah. Onto the really, really boring, monotonous parking lot grind, which has to happen. And, you know, I went through it, so, you know, I'm gonna, you guys are gonna have to go through it with me as well, uh, again here. And we're gonna deal with all these, you know, these parking lots were not uh, perfect dimensions for just placing a couple assets. And also, my Move It rotation tool has not been working perfectly recently. So, I mean, yeah, the, the parking lots that we work on here are, you know, definitely not ideal. Um, they could have been done faster, let's just say that.
mean, at this point, I don't really know what to talk about. We've gotten through really everything I've wanted to get through. I mean, throughout this whole video. Um, yeah, I mean, just one thing I wanted to mention is hopefully I did a little bit better with this video, trying to make it a little bit more unique, like the build we're doing, not just grinding through suburbs or something, because that was the goal. And I'm going to try to do more of this stuff. We are inevitably going to have grinds, uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, but more of this stuff I think would be really cool as well. Um, as much of it as I can get in, just all these interesting little builds. And obviously this is a one episode build. We're not going to be coming back to the, you know, the the amusement park to work on it more but i mean the lake around it is going to still be extremely unique i, I have a lot of plans for it it's going to be really interesting so we'll work on that but yeah um i mean suggest any builds you have um you know in the comments that would be nice unique builds that i could put somewhere on the map uh, but not a military base or a navy base that's not happening Two more things before we end the video. Uh, first of all, new music. Hopefully you like it. It's from Epidemic Sound. It's like old school hip hop chill stuff to put in the backgrounds. Uh, chill Hop was getting a little bit boring. I don't know. Um, not the style of music I really want. Most of the songs at least. Um, this is exactly what I want uh, for the video. So I mean, hopefully you like it too. I was considering adding like, you know, 70s rock and stuff. Um, but it was a little bit too heavy and I want the videos to just be chill. I, you know, like when I watch the City Skylines video, you know, $2.20, Taser, somebody like that, I just want to chill, you know? I don't want crazy rock music going on. You know, we, we got enough of that in the, the intro to New Windsor, which isn't going anywhere. We're going to keep that music, but other than that, you know, I wanted to be chill, so hopefully you like this music. And also, I've tried a little bit of a different editing style for this video, went for you know, uh, more cinematics in the middle and tried to integrate the cinematics into the music a little bit better. I'm still working on it, so definitely, you know, give me some constructive criticism, which will be, you know, implemented uh, if I agree. Because, you know, like, honestly, I do have a little bit of work to do on the style, and you know, I, I do need to figure out new ways to edit the videos that are interesting as well. <laughs> Yeah, that's all folks hopefully you all enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like it really does help out a ton um so do that if you haven't already and subscribe if you're new around here hit the bell icon next subscribe button it won't be you know you, you won't be spammed if you hit the bell icon because honestly i'm a little bit inconsistent with my uploads as of recently but if you hit it you won't miss a video uh you can check out my patreon if you want to support me it really does mean a lot and you know uh thanks to all the people who support me on patreon you know anybody who supports me there gets access to episodes early so right now you can get access to the next episode of new windsor right now over there so check that out uh and follow me on twitter and instagram been active on both of those recently instagram a little bit less twitter more so follow those in the description but yeah hopefully you all enjoyed i'll see you next time